Coming off last season, uh, there was a lot to improve on. And, um, you know, it's kind of like we almost had a whole new team coming in this year, too. We had a lot of new guys coming in. But then we had those guys, you know, that was important that, you know, we went through that season. We've got at least half of the guys that, that are coming back this year. And, you know, I feel like that was good for us. And uh, just to go through that struggle of, of, you know, every day was just a struggle. We didn't know, I mean, what was going to happen. Uh, I felt like we kind of went through everything last year. I feel like just coming out of the last year and like what happened kind of, I feel like everybody just had a chip on their shoulder, I guess. Uh, wasn't about to go down that way again. And I uh, just knew that everybody worked really, really hard to get back to where they could, could really uh, compete and do something good for this team this year. A year ago, we had several injuries and I think our kids are healthier. Certainly that's, that's an important part of, of our league. If you look at some teams in our league that are struggling right now, they, they've gotten beaten up with some injuries and I think our kids are healthier than they were a year ago. I think they're more experienced. They went off and had great summers in summer baseball. And I, I think we got a little more help in some areas as well, you know, from a really good recruiting class. So uh, we needed three things to happen. We needed our kids to, uh, who were hurt to, to get better. Um, we needed our, our kids to go out in the summer and improve. And we needed to fill in some gaps. And I think all three of those things have happened with uh, this year's club. We just wanted to play to the best of our ability. And um, we, we knew how much uh, talent we have on the team. We just wanted to, you know, work hard and get to where we needed to be. Uh, won a national championship. I feel like just coming into it was kind of an unspoken plan. Uh, I feel like everyone kind of knew what they were, what, what their job would be and what they were kind of there to do. Um, Coach Cohen always puts out that attitude that, uh, you know, winning is expected and doing it in a, great, in a good fashion is, is what we're here to do. With our kids, you really, expectations are always going to be there. When you play in the Southeastern Conference, that's just how it works. But I think our kids have high expectations for themselves. I think, uh, I think many of the returners were a little bit embarrassed about their performance a year ago. I think they wanted to improve. I think they wanted to come together as a team. I think the older kids wanted to provide leadership. You really can't infuse leadership or infuse enthusiasm in a group of kids. You, you have to go recruit that. You have to go find that. And then you have to refine that once it gets here. I think uh, early on we hit some bumps in the road and uh, we found out a lot about our club and we got to play a lot of different kids. You know, we, we had 21 kids, so baseball 90 miles an hour or better. I think we have some phenomenal arms. We've gotten a lot of those guys on the mound uh, early in their career. So I think we got a lot accomplished. I, I think we established a lot of roles for our club. I think there's been a lot of continuity, but at the same time, we've gotten a lot of people out there and, and gotten them some experience. So. I think we're in a good place mentally right now, and I think our kids are extremely competitive. Early in the season, we were still trying to find our identity uh, about you know what our roles are. You know, early in the season, it's tough to know exactly what your roles are on the team, especially you know, uh, you know, this as a whole team. I guess the young guys are still trying to figure out what it's like to play here. You know, and uh, at Mississippi State, it's such a great program, and the older guys are still trying to teach us like the ways on how to do things. We had those few slip-ups uh, early, but, you know, I just think that that kind of came with, uh, you know, just a few things happened that didn't go our way, but, you know, I feel like we never really were out of anything, any games this year, and uh, the guys have really done a good job of just battling and, um, you know, taking every game seriously. The past two years, we've played some pretty good teams, but I feel like this year, just kind of getting us going before conference, we played we played some teams that were there to play, and uh, we, we faced some good pitching and some good hitting. 
uh, through and through playing UCLA and uh, US, USC out in California. So uh, just being able to get out there and, and move around and kind of see these great teams, uh, we were able to compare ourselves early on and just know that we can compete. Oregon's a very good club. I think it's one of the best pitching staffs, if not the best pitching staff we have faced this year. Um, you know, you, you face three left-handers in a row. You know, probably two of those kids end up being first-round picks. The third one might, you know, end up being a top two or three-round pick. Um, just got our kids ready for what they were going to see in the Southeastern Conference, and um, I think uh, Oregon was a very, very good test for our club. We just happened to be playing well that weekend as well, and. Uh, I think we performed at a pretty high level in all phases of the game. At the time, you know, we knew it was going to be a test, that they had some really good arms, and uh, it was kind of, this is what's going to make our season right here, and uh, if we can have a good three-game series right here, I think it will give us a lot of confidence, which it did, and, you know, I was pretty proud of the way we handled ourselves that weekend. We just took it a, like a game at a time, honestly. I don't feel like we really looked read too much into rankings because it was so early in the year. Um, I feel like we know what, when teams are good, and we just know that we have to elevate our game to, to, to be able to face or compete or, uh, or even be, like beat them like we did. Starting pitching really stepped up for us, and we have uh, two out RBIs, and some of our offense has done a very, very good job of this year. And uh, timely hitting, um, and lame. I, but the biggest thing would be when their pitchers weren't throwing strikes, we would lay off balls and we'd uh, get a good pitch to hit you know, advantage count and get good barrel on. With their three starters they had that were we knew were really good guys and I mean obviously on SC weekend you're not gonna see many guys go out on the mound that aren't high caliber pitchers and um, you know that that series of Oregon really really helped us. I feel like after Oregon uh, we had some guys that really had some moments. Um, they were able to step up and they knew they'd be able to do it in conference play also. Guys, the sun's not going to be a factor, obviously. Hey, I think the wind's really going to hang a lot of balls up in the air. So it's got to be line drive, ground ball. We've done a really good job getting used to the surface right here. Now it's time for us to go back and do what we do best. we got to do a great job of the strike zone offensively tonight. We need to stop our swing on a breaking ball that's making proving throw it in the strike zone. We're going to do a great job with their bunting game. We're going to control the running game. If Dakota gets into a situation where he's really focused on the hitter, we need guys behind him going to remind him to hold the baseball and to show him the whole catalog in terms of control and running game. Everybody communicates, everybody's involved in this ball game. Let's get off to a great start. Let's go. Let's go. First pitch of the ball game, line, right center field. Going to be cut off near the warning track as Kendall runs it down and sliding in with an easy double is Jacob Robson. Wind up on the pitch. Ground ball towards the shortstop. Big hop to Alexander and rifles it across in time. And a couple of ground balls in the infield. Two up, two down to the inning. We knew that they were a good team. Uh, we knew we had to do some things right. And um, we knew that their pitching staff was going to be one, one of the best. So, I mean, we, our hitters really took a good approach. And uh, just we, ju we just tried to compete and put the ball in play. And our pitchers just, um, we had to work in and out and, you know, force action. And Dakota Hudson's pitch. Strike three called at the knees of the outside quarter. Anytime, you know, you put Dakota Hudson out there in Austin Sexton, you know, you, you feel like you have a great opportunity to compete at a high level and win baseball games. And I think that's how our kids felt. 
they, they really competed their hearts out and you know we played a lot of close games already uh, but when you win some close games on the road it, I think it really bolsters the confidence of your kids and uh, I really believe they expect to win. Uh, that's the competitive nature of this group of young men. A stretch on the pitch and there's a drive and it's way back and it's going and it's gone for a two run homer for a Breed Humphreys and that was a no doubter from the time it left the bat and Mississippi State just like that take a two to one lead in this ball game. Being on the road our first weekend, we didn't really know what to expect. We just knew that we were going to go in there and kind of stay under control and do what we could do to try to get a win. And came out with two wins out of three and, you know, felt like we were in contention to win the third one. And it, it really, that was a big confidence booster for us too. You know, Dakota has done a phenomenal job on Friday nights, just getting the series rolling and, you know, giving us a good chance to win every time. And uh, it's been a big part of it. Uh, kicks on the livery on a line drive up the middle. That's a base hit. We were just supposed to play our game. Um, you know, just try to get our game goals accomplished, and you know, at the end of the day, hopefully, get a win. But uh, you know, I, I thought the team did a great job of uh, you know supporting each other and being there for each other. And you know, it was it was a good weekend for us. Four to three, Vanderbilt leading in the ball game, and the pitch on the way. And a ground ball, sharply hit, and the left, that's a base hit. One run has scored. Here's a runner coming to the plate. Here comes a throw. It's not in time. Bulldogs have taken the lead, and a clutch hit by Mangum. I think any time you play well, it's going to add to your confidence, and it really, you know, it doesn't matter who you're playing. If you go four for four, you feel like uh, you're a pretty good hitter, and it doesn't matter if it's midweek or weekend or, or whatever, but I, I think the fact that our kids went on the road in a very difficult place to play, um, and won some baseball games. I think certainly that's, that was a confidence builder for a group that was trying to come together in the first week of the season. And, uh, you know, each week is a different challenge, but it's very similar because everybody in our league is that good. Everybody is really, really good. And if you're not playing close to your potential or at your potential or above your potential, you're going to get beat. You know, I think everybody understands that. It's, it's really a, a fight or flight type mentality in terms of the way you compete in this league. Every weekend in the SEC is not going to be easy and you know we kind of knew that and coming off Vanderbilt uh, obviously Vanderbilt was a really good ball club and we knew Georgia was going to be tough and uh, kind of a little different it was a quick turnaround we played on Thursday, Friday, Saturday and we knew it was going to be a little bit different and they threw some guys out there that were good and you know we just swung the bats well that weekend I felt like we kind of rolled off of the Vanderbilt series and we felt pretty confident. They're kind of a big swinging team. I feel like they have a lot of power through their lineup. It's just, I just feel like the biggest thing for us was to make pitches when you can and then um, just really know the situation because um, they can do some damage. I mean, any, any SEC team that you face during uh, conference play, they're going to try and get their swing off. The guys, you know, got on base and, uh, you know, the whole team just did a great job of getting on base, getting timely hits, and you know, that, I thought we all had the same approach that weekend. I think that's why we you know, won two out of three. We got two great starts there uh, also. Uh, certainly Sexton went out and pitched very, very well for us on Saturday. So pleased with what he did. And, and um, you know, of course, Dakota went out and, and pitched very, very well. Uh, really competed well offensively and defensively. And, and really, you know, got behind, and, but, but kept competing in game three. And, uh, you know, again, just love the overall competitiveness of our ball club. <laughs> hey, just like every single Friday or every single Thursday, we got to get off to a great start. Okay? We took care of business on Tuesday, and now we got to take care of business on the weekends. This matters. Every single person <laughs> matters. Lock in. Give us three hours. Let's get off to a great start. Yeah. Those two games, you know, you beat Ole Miss on a Friday. It doesn't count as two wins, and the league counts as one. But I also know that we're in the state of Mississippi, and it's, it's a very fun rivalry. It's, a, it's something I experience as a player and as a coach. And, um, you know, I know our, our fans just showed up in droves and really supported our kids, and I think that made a big difference, uh, even in a, a rainy Friday night. Uh, but uh, again, Dakota went out and did a great job. Sexton went out and did a great job. We really, on the, the you know, offensively, especially on Sunday, we, we come back from a deficit and 
and cut the lead six to five, really have a chance to sweep a very good Ole Miss club. Didn't turn out that way, but um, just love, again, how our kids are competing, how they're preparing, uh, and the way that they're, they're treating this season. Check of the runner by Bramlett on the one strike pitch coming. And a hard hit ball to the right side into center field. That's a base hit. Second baseman couldn't get to it. It goes to right center. Mangum sprints from second or across the plate as he is able to score easily. And a two out base hit by Reed Humphreys ties up the ball game in the bottom half of the first inning. Obviously, Ole Miss took all three last year from us, and uh, that was a big, big thing last year that uh, really just kind of, I felt, took the, took the breath out of us. And going into this year, I just knew, obviously, we were a completely different ball team and um, a lot more confidence and felt like we had a lot more pieces to the puzzle. And, you know, the guys just went out there and did a great job. I mean, we pitched well, we hit well. I mean, I felt like we did everything well. We'll see if he gets it. The big guy that we saw last Friday night. Strike three called on the inside corner. I felt like that was just another another outing. You know, I didn't I didn't feel like it was anything better than what I had had been doing previously. But I felt like it's something I can build off of and something I can kind of go go through and and better myself at. And then honestly, going into the weekend, I thought I had the second best start of uh, of the guys we had on the weekend with Austin Sexton the very next day. Inside corner, strike three called, and it looked like another changeup from Sexton to Fitzsimmons, and he has struck out two here in the second inning, both looking. When you got Dakota and Sexton on the mound, they're, they're both just absolute veterans out there. They're, they're pitching like champs right now. They, they go out there, and every pitch we know is probably going to be a strike, and we better be ready to go. So it's it's a lot of fun to play behind them, and it's been an awesome experience to see what they what they can do. It's an extremely competitive game, and just being able to get in there and you know treat it as any other game is what I feel like made us kind of relax in that in the situations where we needed to get some runs or shut a guy down, or you know just being able to do the small things to win the game.